having a child with autism is a challenge. You can't just take him to Sunday church and or children's, children's church. church, and uh, you have to, you know, do the extra work, you know, have be with them. And, uh, and I was missing church. Uh, he was going on worship on his own. Yeah. And there was that disconnect spiritually. And we we always, you know, we have fellowship at home. We read the scriptures, but it's that family, the spiritual family, mm -hmm. the pastoral family, the the brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, and that support is very important when you have a child with autism. And that was key to us because it's not just about interventions yes. with great professionals yes. that have a great background, which or is exactly care. what Champions Club yeah. has, amazing people, um, but also about being able to implant that seed uh, to know Jesus as, as, as their personal Savior, That's which right. is so key. Being able to be fed spiritually and have that overwhelming peace Yes. Uh, to come to church and receive the Word of God. I know, it, it, you know, it's something that, it's like a laying hands, the worship. It's just something that, it's like a rhythm. It's peaceful. I would say bring them, you know, bring them, even if you're not sure, even if you feel like you can't trust your child to somebody, because I know most mommies with autistic children are overprotective, and they feel like, oh, what is going to happen, you know. Just bring it, trust the Lord, and... Uh, Feel peace about it. Let's see. Let them bloom, and let's see what happens. Uh, I see, saw that in my son, and I'm excited to see more children, and you know, for him to have other peers like him, and you know, sharing the Lord and help them grow, and the peace of God will come over them. So